Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. I'm Jeff Allison and thank you for watching. idea of what I did is this was what was in there to begin with roughly in that position and I pump was hitting that so we cut that out which was the big hole I had forever in here and then uh, replated it and then added a little detail here to give just a little clearance behind the uh, the head for uh, there's like one bolt back there or something so just needed a little bit extra clearance there Try to keep it as uniform as possible, centering up on the firewall here for this portion. Anyway, I think that came out well, and obviously uh, gives a well, gives an inch and an eighth is what it gives. So a little side project I'm working on here is to see if I can shrink up some of these warps that have developed over the process of heating and welding and cutting on this thing. Just trying to get the temperature up. And I think this will get it up high enough to not need to go out and get like a torch and get a red hot in there. What I'm doing is heating the high spot right now. So getting hot there. I'm trying to cool it with water as quickly as possible. time I can feel that one move. I'm going to try some of these in here that are a little bit low. Let me just keep working around. See if we can't Let's shrink all this back up. I've only done this one other time where I've had a lot of success. Um, what I noticed is you, you, know, you end up going back quite a few times, heating areas or heating areas real close to where you started and because everything just keeps moving, which is part of what you're trying to do is to move the metal again. And I could probably do this a little faster if I was using my oxyacetylene torch, but 
fast as how I got here. I was trying to weld too much too fast. there if we could get that one these are still a little high maybe I'll put it in right there at the bottom and we'll see if we can get this one shrunk up this one's a little lower which it's all caused from heat down here, so really you would expect them to be slightly lower. This one was, I think, caused when I was welding over here, welding on this inner cowl. It came out pretty nice. And I've got a little coffee canning over here, so if I can shrink that up just a little bit, I think we'll have it real nice. There it is, you can see it's just starting to turn orange. I don't know if you can see that on the camera well or not, but that's what it's at. It's just almost ready to turn orange. Just clear it off. Here, a coffee can right there. Hear that? It's it moving. I got most of it. I'm going to try hitting it from the inside again.
better. It's just a little right there now. It's coming up quite a bit. And then this is a little high. That's why we got the oil canning. So try and pull a little bit out right there. See what we can do. Get that. Most of it is gone. There's a little bit right here that still needs to come out, and we got this low spot which. I think we'll come out, it's just a matter of getting it shrunk enough. Got rid of almost all the oil. Well, the oil canning is gone. I just got a little bit of loose space here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more spot out here. Pretty happy with it. Okay, let's do spots right there.
there. Which if that was over, this would be about dead on. If there's anything I can do with that one. there above where I welded. I think though that I can get in there and just hammer on that. So try that real quick. Let's see if I can finish that out. particularly pretty but fix that spots are still at there. Yeah. Considering before when I had a ruler up there I had some places where there was much as a quarter of an inch. Now I'm down to a couple of little spots that are about a sixteenth. Um, I'm pretty happy with the finished product there. So from here this will get once it's all finished welded all the seams are ground then this will get uh, a coat of a real thin coat of uh, bondo to, and then longboard black uh, blocked out so it'll uh, finish out nice there's a weld right here for this cow panel so that's why that spot is staying low so it's really i mean i can take some of that high in That little spot's going to end up being low. Keep in there anything else where I like it. You might get in there and try and tap that little spot out just a little bit more. It really, it's pretty darn good. So, you know, time to. Oh, anyway. Um, so, you know. You could probably try and do a little more. Like I said, that's a little low right in there, but I'm happy with it. It's good enough that I can put a nice thin set of a thin skim coat of uh, filler on it and level the whole thing off, and it'll look nice, be finished out. So that's what I'm going to do, and that's how I shrink metal. Um, just heat it up to get just where it's turning pink. Put plenty of water on it. Let it cool off and don't be afraid to do the same spot multiple times. But this panel is either 16 or maybe even 14 gauge, I think it's 16 though. Um, so it can take a little bit of heat. And, and when you're welding, I just I got in a hurry when I was welding all this in, and I'd know better. We've talked about it when I did the dash on this same car, um, so. 
you know, if you slow down, tack welds, and then wait for those to cool, and tack welds, and wait for those to cool. You can avoid all of this. I shrink and metal my way. <laughs> Have a great day. Hey guys, welcome back to Allison Customs, uh, Project Car TV. So I've got some new t-shirts uh, finally came in. There's black and gray. And the way I'm gonna set this up is, if you're interested in buying one of the shirts, uh, you'll be able to send a payment through PayPal at uh, jeffrey at allisoncustomsonline.com. I'll put that in the description. I'll also flash it up here on the screen. And now they're gonna be $20 for the contiguous 48 states. Uh, and that includes the shipping for both gray and black large and extra large um, I am gonna do a deal if you buy three uh, I'll do it for $55 for the three of them so I'll save a little bit there and again there's still just large and extra large on sizes um, any combination of the black and gray and then like I said I'll put some pictures up here after this so you can kind of get a little better view of them but uh, I do want to thank you all for watching all the channels and anybody who was asking about t-shirts finally coming out here they are like I said, $20 through PayPal, and I'll put the uh, address up on the screen and in the uh, comments. So have a great day. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.